Hey, a friend. Happy, happy, happy new year. We have made it to 2024. Uh, pop some champagne. I hope you pop champagne for the new year to ring in the new year. It's your girl CJ here coming to you from a shiny new podcast name, Side Hustle Growth. Can I get a what? what? But just the name has changed. Just the name has changed. Everything else stays the same. The name is just to reflect what we're really about Around here, I spent the better part of 2023 weighing the pros and the cons and what should I do and how should I name it? And, you know, I and I knew, I knew I needed to, um, the name needed to evolve as much as a podcast has evolved. And Side Hustle Growth just makes the most sense because it's helping you grow your side hustle, but also you growing as a side hustler. It's about the the person as much as it is the business. So you're still going to get the same great content, amazing, amazing guests lined up, ready to, to share their wisdom with you, if you will. And your girl CJ is going to be coming to you on video. It's going to be here. It's going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe and follow and turn the notifications on all of that good stuff because we're all about growth all around i am so happy to be here with you today let me know let me know what you think about the name if you're watching it on youtube leave a comment below i, I love being able to say that. leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the name or you can slide in my dms on instagram at kristen and james and let me know what up let me know what's going on let me know what your big goal is for 2024 or ooh, how about you let me know what your word is for 2024 mine is replenish because 2023 if you tuned in to a couple episodes ago, episode 153, I believe it was, when I talked about ending on the high note after um, some, some challenges with my mental health, if you will. So I've got to replenish. I've got to pour back into me. I want everyone to always get the best version of me. So 2024 is really going to be replenishing what 2023 tried to take out of me. But I am here. You're here. We're here. We're talking about growth. And I want to make sure that you always continue to get the same value. It's still about the shine to five method. That's still my thing. That's my coaching, my coaching system. Everything is still from the shine to five method. I'm still going to reference the shine to five method. When we talk, if you search it, whatever, you're still going to see the shine to five method. But I do want to hear, I do want to hear from you. Um, this is all about, oh, and there's so many more developments. So be sure. Like you got to subscribe, you got to follow, you got to do all the things, share, comment, turn on the notifications, anything that you can turn on, just turn it on. Just turn it on right now. Just turn it on so you make sure you're not missing out on anything. So how about we kick this year off, right? How about we kick it off with some motivation, right? You want to be motivated. We're in a new year. It's 2024. It's our year. We're going to do the thing this year. So we got to... We start the year off on a high. We want to make sure we continue on this high. We want to start off motivated and find a way to maintain that motivation. So this episode today is all about finding motivation in your side hustle. If you took a break, if you take a break for the holidays, a well-deserved break. You know when this episode would also be really, really good for? It would be good in the summertime as well. If you are one of the I'm closing down for the summer folks. So save this episode so you can come back to it because you'll need some motivation again in, in September. If you did take some time off from your side hustle in, in the summertime. Anyway, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me just, let me just, I'm breathing, I'm breathing. Okay, so... Enough yammering from the Side Hustle Growth Podcast. Um, let's get into the meat and potatoes, if you will, about finding motivation in your side hustle, okay? I'm going to share five with you. Nice and easy, five, right? That's a nice, easy, manageable number. So first and foremost, reflect on the break. Just reflect. You think about why taking a break is beneficial. You may even have felt some guilt or anxiety when you consider stepping away. But there's a lot to be said about not taking a break and what that can do to your mental health. Right. We just, I just, I just shared about mine and I will keep sharing about mine as well. I'm, I mean, I recently talked about it 
And that episode, how, how I was consumed by my business, and I, I really had to take a step away. I had to take a break for myself. So I'm speaking from experience. Reflect on why taking a break is beneficial. Nothing gives you more clarity than being able to step away from something and then return to it, like with a fresh set of eyes. Because when you're in it, you're really, really in it. It's kind of like using, I got to use an analogy. It's like you're writing a paper. I've used this before, probably on the podcast. My clients have definitely heard it. You're writing a paper, you're writing a paper, and it's it's due. It's a really big paper. It's your final paper, and you're working on it. You're working on it. You're working on it, and it's almost like the words are to jumble together. And then you got to take a step away. You got to take a break from it. Maybe you get you hand it off to someone else to take a look at it. But because once you're in it, you're really, really in it. So as you're reflecting, be it with a journal or you're meditating, whatever works for you, taking a walk, you're sitting on the couch, you're trying to take a nap, whatever. When you're reflecting, really think about why you decided to take this break. If you were burnt out or demotivated, then it wasn't such a bad thing. Now, was it? The reset could be so crucial so you can set goals from a a fresh perspective, if you will. And the next thing to do, this is number two, reconnect with your goals so you can start small. Because we took a break. We took a step away, right? So we want to reconnect with your goals. And by that, before you jump back into things, because, you know, you want to make up for lost momentum and you're ready to do this thing and na, 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 and all that good stuff. I'm so excited for you. Pause. <laughs> do your goals still feel aligned with your vision? Are you still feeling connected to the mission of, of your business? Why you started your business? What you want to do in your business? Do you still feel alignment there? Look at what worked and what didn't work because we're reflecting. Look at what worked, what didn't work. Can you still see that big picture? That big goal. Remember I asked you to share with me what your big goal is when you slide in my DMs. Let me know what your big goal is for 2024. Can you still see the big picture? Because it will be a good time. You see the big picture. Now you can reverse engineer. Reverse engineer. Now you're starting to work backwards. So you can break down your goals into smaller, tangible goals that are easy to track and keep you motivated. So reconnect with your goals. Make sure your goals still make sense for you. Make sure you still want to work on the same things. Maybe when you took that break and you were reflecting, you realize this is not the direction I want to take things in. And that's okay if you want to change direction, but make sure you reconnect with your goals. So when you're working on something, it makes sense for you and you set the right kinds of goals and you feel connected to your goals so you can stay motivated. And after that, Number three, you can say, can re create a re-entry plan, if you will. And by that, I mean, prioritize if you're going to be working on your business or if you're going to be working in your business. So remember, working on is what's going on, the marketing, the inspiration, the creativity, the admin, all the behind the scenes. And working in is what's coming in, income. So there's inspiration and then there's income. Income producing activities. Are you speaking? Are you selling products? Are you hosting a masterclass? Are you going to be a keynote speaker somewhere? But since you're starting, you're just getting back into it after taking a break. The income producing activities may not be ready right away. And that's okay. We're working on our goals and reconnecting with them. So are you going to be sharing while you were away and you know creating some hype? I'm back, baby. So stay tuned. That could be. That could be content right there. Take a look at the time that you have available and what you can realistically work on when you're working on your side hustle. When you think about your life and your nine to five and everything else going on, be realistic with the time and the, the pockets and the, the windows and time slots that you have to work on. Listen, I have tons of tips, tons of tips on time management, consistency on this podcast. Then, like I said, the name might have changed, but that's it. This is still the same great content. It's, everything is still there for you to check it out. You just got to scroll back. When you are binging, make sure you check out those time management episodes as well. And I said episodes because it's more than one. I've had guests on to talk about time management and feeling productive. Tons, tons. But my point is, don't plan on coming in hot if you don't have the capacity for that right off the bat. It's okay. You're working away, you're easing back into things. 
setting small tangible goals. What is one small tangible goal that you can work on right now and you can feel like you're moving closer to that big picture, no matter how small the goal is. Remember that step is the the mentality, the zero to 100 mentality. What's your step one? And then it's step two. Before you know it, you will be at step 100. But you got to start somewhere, start small, start manageable. And once you have found your groove, you've reconnected with your goals, you're creating a re-entry plan, it really is about building that momentum. Okay? Build that momentum. This is where you track and you evaluate your goals. And please, 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 I implore you, remember to celebrate the small wins. Celebrate being back and ready to show up consistently. Celebrate when you firm up your offer or the product that you're you're going to be promoting. Celebrate when you create that first post and then you schedule more because you want to stay on top of things and you want to maintain consistency. Just don't try to overwhelm yourself because you'll end up feeling stuck again. And if you find yourself having a hard time keeping up, or you're falling short on your goals, or you're falling behind, or you're overwhelmed, this would be a good time to seek some support. Holla at your girl, CJ, and let's do a 15-minute vibe check. We're doing a vibe check. We want to make sure, you know, we vibe. And if we're a fit and I can support you and motivate you, I am here. I am here. I'm ready. I am ready. You reach out. Okay, number five. Last, but definitely, definitely not least. Please, I implore you, again, you're celebrating your small wins, but you're also prioritizing your self-care. Far too often, I see entrepreneurs as a whole, myself included, I see side hustlers trying to juggle their life, their job, and their business, and one of them always tends to lose out or they fall short in one of them. And it's usually the side hustle. It's usually because how much of your life can you really put on on hold? How much of your business, of your nine to five, can you put on hold? So your business is the one that tends to be Put on the back burner. I'm going to put things on hold. I'm going to hold off on that. I hear that all the time. Prioritize your self-care because next thing you know, it'll become a vicious cycle. And then you'll take three steps forward and 10 steps back. And it'll feel like just over and over. You're on this hamster wheel. You're stuck. Show yourself some grace. Be realistic. Manage your expectations. Don't be looking at what so-and-so is doing. Don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 10. They might not have taken a break in their side hustle. And that's wonderful for them. You took one. You needed to take one. And now you're here. You're ready to get back into things. You're ready to find motivation and stay motivated and maintain momentum. Manage your expectations. Because especially if you're in it for the long haul, if you're seeing yourself walking away from a nine to five, becoming a full-time entrepreneur, it is good to get into the practice of prioritizing your self-care. Prioritize, prioritize. It's always, always going to be important to check in and listen to yourself. Listen, listen, listen to yourself. So there you have it. Five tips to help you find motivation after the holidays so you can hit the ground running in 2024. You start off walking and then maybe you start speed walking and then maybe it'll be a slow jog and then you'll start to jog a little bit faster and then you'll be running a little bit faster. Maybe it'll turn into a sprint, but really it is a marathon. It's not a race. It is a marathon. You're in it for the long haul, okay? One thing I will say, please don't delay. Don't put things off. Don't use procrastination as an excuse. Don't say, oh, the year just started. I got time. I have time to figure it all out. Do you really? Do you really? Because time's not waiting for you. And before you know it, you'll blink. It'll be February. You'll blink again. It'll be March. You'll blink again. It'll be April, May. You see where I'm going with this. And it'll be September. And you'll be wrapping up the year. And you're thinking, oh, my God, I put things on hold too long. Don't procrastinate. Just pick one thing, one small goal, one tangible goal. If you need help, get in clarity. You need support. You need accountability to stay on track, to stay motivated with with your goals. Please holla at your girl CJ. Book a 15-minute vibe check at the link. Let's chat. Tell me more about your side hustle, and we can take things from there. I can see how I can help you. You can tell me exactly what you need. I got tons and tons and tons and tons in the Shine to Five method to be able to help you out. 
just don't, don't, don't delay. I want you to stay motivated. I want you, if you're saying 2024 is the year, let's, let's be serious about that. Let's like really, really make it the year. Thank you so much for being here with me for another year for rocking with your girl, CJ. See you next week. A guest episode is coming. Oh, it is so good. I mean, I got some good guests coming up this year. I always, I've been very, very fortunate because I'm starting the year off with a really, really good guest. Thank you very much for being here with me today, my friend. And I will talk to you when you sign in my DMs or when you book that 50-minute vibe check. But I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.